So I thought this story was really funny, and I wanted to share it with you guys. I actually I actually laughed pretty hard when I read this the first time, and I thought this just would be fun to talk about. So Dr. Dre is in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> he's, he's, his ex-wife wants like $2 million a month. This is crazy amount of money. She wants $2 million a month. And he could have avoided this. The man had a prenup created but for some reason he would things were good he was like oh you know what we don't need this and he destroyed it now he's gonna have to pay two million a month i wonder maybe he won't have to pay two million a month but i bet you she gets a million a month or something she's gonna get a ridiculous amount of money because well dr dre lives in california so i'm sure like I said, he's about to learn what it's like to feel the fire. Some really interesting cases come out. I did another celebrity divorce video once where it was pretty bad. And I think it was Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro was going through a divorce and his wife wanted a ridiculous amount of money. Though She only wanted like $500,000 a month. Dr. Dre's ex-wife, she's like, I'm too used to those, those fast cars and big houses. I want $2 million. Like, what do you do with $2 million? First, because their kids are grown. Their kids are well over 18. So it's like, what do you need the $2 million for? <laughs> I, I, I hope she gets it. Because he was so dumb that he decided to rip up his prenup. Why would you do that? What, what was through your mind? Were you were drinking the Hennessy a little too much? I just don't, I don't get it. Let's go through this because it's, it's legitimately kind of funny. So Dr. Dre's estranged wife, Nicole Young, has filed court documents asking for almost two million a month from the rapper who has a net worth of around 800 million young has asked a los angeles court for temporary spousal support in the amount of two million dollars well almost two million and also wants the beats by dr dre mogul to pay her five million in fees she spent on their split as uh, reported by TMZ, apparently. $5 million in fees. Wow, she's going to take everything from this guy. <laughs> Was it worth it, Dr. Dre? Young, who is represented by attorney Samantha Spector, filed for divorce from the Next Episode artist earlier this year after 24 years of marriage as they share two children, uh, Truce Young, 23, and Truly Young at 19. Well, she's truly young now, but will she be truly young at 45? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm just kidding. But anyway, 20. imagine you're married to this man for 24 years. What happened that made the divorce so bad? Like, what was so bad that you just like, I'm going to destroy this man and take everything now? Like really five million in fees, and then you want two million dollars a month. Now this is this would be probably some kind of alimony, though I suppose spousal support and alimony are the same thing. So being that they were together for twenty four years, which is a long time, she'll probably end up getting a substantial amount of money. I don't know why you wouldn't just shoot for a settlement, which is usually, well, no, honestly, she's probably going to get a settlement of a large amount of money and alimony, considering how long they were together. And if she was never working or anything, it's probably going to get even worse. Look at the rock on her finger. I don't know if you if it comes through as well as me looking at it on my screen, but damn, that is a big rock. What happened, though? What happened to cause this 24 years and you're just done with somebody at that point? It's like kind of hard to even like move on to something else, though. He'll probably because he's so rich. So, you know, she'll probably get herself a, a pool boy as well, especially with all that money. So, but will that last? I don't know. This is crazy to me. It had to have been nasty because she's really going for him hard. She's trying to hit his wallet real hard. So I almost wonder if he laid up with some young with some young uh, music video girl or something. And uh, <laughs> and she's bitter about it. I don't know. It's just a that's a ton of that's a ton of money. Insiders told TMZ that Nicole's quality of life has not changed since filing for divorce in July. She resides at the Malibu, California home they had shared with amenities such as luxury vehicles and staff. 
The Compton, California native sources told the outlet is going to tell the court that stability of her lifestyle means she doesn't need the nearly $2 million she's asking the court for a month. The former NWA member and Young have been at odds over a prenuptial agreement, according to the outlet. So this is what I was talking about. So here are the details on this. Young, who was previously wedded to an NBA player, said that she initially signed one before their May 25th, 1996 wedding, but Dr. Dre later destroyed it during the better years of their marriage. So this is what's interesting. Is that still legally binding even though he destroyed it. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. But that's kind of a tricky question. This, this would be a good question for like a law channel to talk about. I think it would be an interesting video anyway. But like, so if a prenup is destroyed, is it still legally binding? Do you have to go through the court and do that? Or can he just do that? This will be an interesting thing to follow because I just, I think that's an interesting question. Will that matter? But what a dummy. You know, he could have just kept that. Like, it doesn't sound like that she, uh, or maybe, maybe she was always picking at it. Like, why did we really need that prenup, Dr. Dre? Why did we, why did we really need, we didn't really need that prenup. We didn't really need that. You, you, you don't trust me. You don't trust me, Dre. You don't love me. And he ripped it up, destroyed it, and now the fool is going to get ravaged. <laughs> what an idiot! You know he's he's sitting around with some, he's sitting around with some uh, some Don Perignon right now, drinking that in sorrow, wishing he had never torn that up. And now he's going to pay the price because she's gonna she's gonna make him pay for that booty for a long, long time, probably for like ten or fifteen years until she remarries, and and she probably will. I would imagine. And then he can go in and try to get rid of, because at that point it's like, well, she got a new husband now. I don't, why am I paying $2 million a month? But until then, uh, he's probably gonna be paying a lot of money because I would imagine she doesn't do anything. You know, she was probably a trophy wife at one time and probably has no skills whatsoever. So she totally rode on him and he supported everything. And if that argument is made, she will probably end up making a lot of money off of his ass. And it's his own fault for being stupid and tearing up that prenup. I don't feel bad for you if you end up having to pay that ridiculous amount of money because you had a prenup, you had a shield, and you screwed the pooch, man. I thought you were smarter than that. I mean, you made a lot of really good business moves. This wasn't one of them. What a dummy. What a dummy you are, Dr. Dre. Why would you do this? It was a stupid move, man. So here he is looking really sad, realizing, what the hell did I do? <laughs> Try putting on a fake smile here. Uh, Dr. Dre is telling the court that his estranged wife signed the document and it remains in effect. And that's the interesting question. That's the interesting question that I want to know the answer to. So will that matter? It'll be an interesting story to follow. In late July, the music mogul, whose real name is Andre Young, told a Los Angeles court that Young will not give back his motorcycle, golf clubs, and firearms from the Malibu home that they formerly shared. According to The Blast, he has since moved into a Brentwood, California home. And apparently, he let her come in and take some stuff, and now he wants to be able to do that. He wants to get his bike back and stuff, and she won't let him. Women, women can get bitter, man. I'm telling you. They can get bitter. I've seen it time and time again, and men can too. But usually because of the court system, it's usually favored towards the women in cases. So that's that's kind of where the, you know, the bitter woman thing comes from. Because it's true. Like they, the court usually will always lean towards them and give them more. And the man kind of gets kind of broken from things. So it's an unfortunate thing, but he, he had the perfect way to get out of it, and he ruined it. What a dummy. Why would you do that, Dr. Dre? Anyway, <laughs> I'll follow up on this when this settles, and we'll see if he ends up uh, having to grab his ankles for it. will be a fun story to follow up on. Anyway, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about all this. Also, like, subscribe, and uh, share the video as well. Hit that notification bell, and I will see all of you on the next one. Peace.
Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.